Okay, here we are. Here's your car. Your 77 Cordoba. It's on the rotisserie. I'm going to show you the rust now. Let me give this thing a spin here. Here we go. Inside the trunk, <clears throat> right there is about where that mouse nest was. And I'm suspecting there was maybe a little more, uh, more water seepage, maybe from the window or something because there was a lot more than I was expecting. You can kind of see all that Swiss cheesy right in this area. I didn't know that was there. There was a little bit here and there, but when I started to, to take off some of the undercoating underneath, I found a whole lot more. Um, there was actually a mouse nest up in here. Here's a little, little leftover of it. So that could have, you know, in a while that would have been really bad. Um, and this spot, you know, just like on the other side, was uh, was getting pretty bad. Here's that chunk. This is the bottom side, and I started to. I found a few spots, a few pinholes, and you see all the pink paint. I did something different on this one. I marked all my rusty spots with paint, so pink paint, so I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't lose track of them. Let me spin this up. Here we go. Here it is from underneath. That same rust hole, and there it is again, and you can kind of see there's a little rust up in, on both sides in that, which is very, very typical on these cars. A little bit back there, which was close to that mouse nest and is not that uncommon either. Um, and there's a little bit here, which again is not that terribly uncommon. The whole bottom of that's a little bit loose, so that'll get reattached and then this is about how big the patch is going to be on this side. And a little bit back here on both sides, you know, again, that's pretty typical on these. Um, this patch is a little a little bit bigger. It goes farther up into this wheel well. I'm, I'm guessing there was maybe a little more dirt and dust in there and it gets a little damp and there it sits. And maybe the mice were pissing in there. Mouse piss is a great way to rust metal away. Um, this one didn't have the hole here, which is good. Uh, here it's about the same as the other side. And then this one was a little bit bigger and you can see a little bit in the inner here is also uh, rotted away. But for the most part, that's about it. There's a couple little spots, like here's a little spot here that's rust. Got a little hole in. I'll cut that out later and see once how bad that is. And then, um, you know, for the most part, everything else is solid. You know, the, the rear spring shackle area, this is usually really bad. That's about as good as it can get, you know, considering, you know, how old it is. And, and there's a little little spot right there you can see a little daylight through. And, you know, little things like that, that's a, that's a little patch. You know, that's, I'm not going to cut a big hole in for that and replace a chunk. I'll, I'll make a tiny little patch and... And the bottom of the rockers are pretty decent. You know, this is pretty much the same on both sides. It's hard to quit looking at the at the lights on the other side. That'll help. And then uh, this was the only bolt really that broke off. That's the suspension bolt. So I got a plan for that. Though that won't be a huge deal. So I think for the most part, I've got all the. Uh, the rust holes cut out, a rust anyway, cut out, and in a couple days when the weather is good, I'll get it outside and do some sandblasting on it, and uh, I can start putting some patches in. That is all I have for now.